Welcome to this brief tutorial on creating references using LaTeX and BibTeX. What you first need to do is to create a database of references as in this file ref.bib. Go down this file and let's go back to the top. Each of these references begins with a unique keyword. For example, the keyword for this reference is KMM07. In the LaTeX file, let me open the LaTeX file. At the place where you want to use a reference, give the command site keyword. For example, site keyword, site keyword. Look at this, site KMM07, the first reference we saw in ref.bib. The next thing you have to do is to include the name of the file that has the references in the source file. Here I have included it towards the end of this document, bibliography, ref. Recall that the references are in the file ref.bib. Finally, you have to say what bibliography style is to be used. So that is included at the top of this source file. This command bibliography style plain. Suppose that we use plain style here. The following sequences of commands is to be executed to create the references in the plain style. First, compile the source file using pdf-latex references. Execute the command bibtech references. Third one, compile the source file twice more using PDF LaTeX references. Once, twice. The references are now created. Let's go and see the second page. Here is the text. Here is the list of references. Let's just go down. The plain style lists the references in alphabetical order and with numbering. These numbers are used in the main text as well. The referencing style UNSRT is identical to the plain style but for one difference. Let me put UNSRT here. References are listed in the order they are invoked first. Let us change the plane to UNSRT like the way we have done and then repeat the procedure of latexing and bibtecking which is first latex the source file using PDF latex then bibtec the source file using bibtec and then LaTeX, the source file twice more, first time, second time. Note what has happened now. You can see that this has generated the references in the order they are cited in the paper. For example, this first reference is cited first here. Reference 2 is cited 2 because it has been cited here. It has been listed as the second in this list. Let's just go down this list. Okay, let's come back. To produce the references in the way computer scientists use, change the style to alpha. Let's change this to alpha. Save. 
and then repeat the LaTeXing and BibTeXing procedure, which is PDF LaTeX source file, BibTeX references, PDF LaTeX references once, twice. Note that now we obtain this style of referencing. Just, let's just go down this and see. Okay. There are many other styles of referencing. I have now downloaded two files, harvard.sty and ifac.bst. Make the following two changes. First include harvard in the use packages command, like I do now. Then change the style to IFAC. Save the file. Now let's do the LaTeXing and BibTeXing procedure once again. BibTeX, BibTeX, LaTeX once, LaTeX twice. We get the reference list as in this PDF file. Let's just go down once. Okay. It is alphabetically arranged, but there are no serial numbers compared to the plain style. The referencing is by author name and year. Author name and year. In this style, there is a special command called cite as noun that helps put the name of the person cited in running text and not within brackets. Note that here we have used only cite and we have got all the references within brackets only. Suppose for example, look at this second paragraph, the textbook by site KMM07, the textbook by, the whole thing comes within the bracket. Suppose I change this to site as now. Save it. I compile it. As a result, now this Moggalia has come outside the bracket in running text. If you need some other referencing style, search the web. There are good chances that someone has already written the required STY and BST files. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining. This is Kannan Modgalya signing off. Goodbye.